have you ever wondered what kind of bankruptcy should I file? I've heard that there's a chapter 11, a chapter 7, a chapter 13. I just don't know which bankruptcy chapter is right for me. Hi, my name is Theta Page. I'm with the Page Law Firm in Frisco, Texas, and I'm the Reconstructionist. I help people who are going through difficult situations reconstruct their lives. Sometimes that's through the filing of a bankruptcy. So today is brought to you by the letter B, bankruptcy basics. Just what are the basics? Well, most individuals are looking at either a chapter seven or a chapter 13. Yes, there is a chapter 11 bankruptcy. In fact, that's what American Airlines filed. That's what General Motors filed. And if you have a boatload of debt as an individual, you can file a chapter 11 too, but probably that's not the best option for you. You're looking at either a seven or a 13. A 13 is sometimes called the wage earners bankruptcy. And that is because we're looking at your wages. What's your income? What are your expenses? Do you have money left over? If you do have money left over, then that money is for your creditors. A chapter 13 is a good option if you've been behind on mortgage payments or car payments and you need to get caught up on those payments. Maybe you have a student loan garnishment or well, right now you probably don't because right now we're still in the COVID student loan forbearance. But that's end income January or at least that's what they say as of right now. But let's suppose you have an IRS wage garnishment and you want that to stop. The filing of a chapter 13 is a great way to stop that IRS wage garnishment and allows you to restructure and direct payments to your creditors. Because maybe, just maybe, you don't have to pay that IRS debt at all. But that's another video. Chapter seven is typically when you're not trying to catch up on mortgage payments or car payments and you qualify. There's a formula that determines whether you're a seven or a 13. And if you qualify, then a chapter seven is great if you've got unsecured debt, credit card debt, medical debt, payday loans, that kind of thing. And that those debts get wiped out in your bankruptcy. A chapter seven is about 90 to 100 days. And a chapter 13 is anywhere from three to five years. Again, there's a formula that makes that determination. So bankruptcy basics, which chapter is right? Seven or 13? The best way to find out, reach out to a bankruptcy lawyer, make an appointment, have a meeting with a lawyer. We'd be happy to talk to you. You can reach out to us by calling us at 214-618-618. 2101 or you can reach us on the internet at www.pagelawfirm.com fill out the contact us and we'll reply to your email we've also have an ebook available for things to consider before filing bankruptcy so if you'd like a copy of that there's a link down below and if you would like additional information subscribe to our channel and get that hit the notifications bell you can get the notifications every time a new video is uploaded thanks for stopping by hope you have a great day again my name is theta page with the page law firm in frisco texas we are here to help you bye